it's tragic. I mean, uh, we, we see this too much and too often. A holiday tragedy in Dover. Authorities say all three members of the Kamal family were found dead in their estate on Wilson's Way. 18-year-old Aria, her mother, 54-year-old Tina, and father, 57-year-old Rick. A gun found at the apparent murder-suicide scene. This is not right. The Kamal family, daughter age 18, mother 54. The father, age 57. Gun found beside his body. He shot and killed his wife and his daughter. This is a D shame. What is this world coming to? What is this world coming to? It's 2024. Ladies, if you don't do anything this year, get trained and get armed. Get trained and armed. You or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence or the threat of domestic violence, there is help available. You can contact the National Domestic Violence Hotline at the number you see on your screen. It's tragic. I mean, uh, we, we see this too much and too often. A holiday tragedy in Dover. Authorities say all three members of the Kamal family were found dead in their estate on Wilson's Way. 18-year-old Aria, her mother, 54-year-old Tina, and father, 57-year-old Rick. A gun found at the apparent murder-suicide scene. Domestic violence is always, always wrong. Just don't do it. You know, there may have been recent financial strain on this family, and we're also learning more about the youngest victim and her love for singing. It's tragic. I mean, uh, we, we see this too much and too often. A holiday tragedy in Dover. Authorities say all three members of the Kamal family were found dead in their estate on Wilson's Way. 18-year-old Aria, her mother, 54-year-old Tina, and father, 57-year-old Rick. A gun found at the apparent murder-suicide scene. I don't know who it was registered to at this time. That's part of the ongoing investigation, and I will not tell you at this time where it was found, but, but uh, it was found, I guess I would say it was found near the, the husband. I'll just leave it at that. Police were called to this home at around 7.30 last night after an extended family member hadn't heard from them and came to check in, instead finding the grisly scene. Right now, we're learning more about 18-year-old Aria. She was a graduate of Milton Academy and a freshman at Middlebury College, where she sang in the choir. I've always been interested in classical singing. The college sending a notice to students saying, in part, she loved singing and was interested in going to Italy with the college opera group. She was connected and engaged in class and passionate about everything she did. Meantime, the DA says there were never any 911 calls from the Kamal home, no apparent problems or domestic violence issues. Neighbors here left stunned by the sudden loss. The saddest part is when people take a, you know, a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Now the DA also saying there were no signs of a break in here. He also says it's unclear how long the three were deceased for before that family member found them. The DA also adding if you're struggling with mental health issues or with domestic violence, you can call 988. Uh, we're found to be deceased. Tonight, the Middlebury College community is remembering 18-year-old Ariana Kamal. The first-year student at Middlebury and her parents were all found dead last night in their Dover, Massachusetts home. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Jack Thurston. In tonight for Brian. And I'm Alice King. We're told another family member called 911 at about 7 after going to check in on their loved ones. Investigators say a gun was involved in the incident and it was found near the father's body. Police say they had never been called to the home for any problems, but our sister station in Boston WCVB uncovered signs of financial strain for the family, including that their multi-million dollar property went into foreclosure a year ago. The saddest part is when people take a, you know, a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Say a prayer and, and um, you know, the, their heart should go out for the, the entire Kamal family and that they should feel safe. You know, they have a good police department and this is just an isolated incident. Very unfortunate for those involved in the extended Kamal family. 
A Vermont student's father ran an education company called EduNova out of Marlboro, Massachusetts. Her mother was on the board of the American Red Cross in the Boston area. The president of Middlebury College responding to the tragedy tonight. Aria was a freshman from the class of 2027. The school calls her a brilliant student who always gave 110 percent and who was an amazing singer. She was also active in a program for women in computer science as well as a club that learns more about foraging food from the wild. The school is offering support services to classmates and is promising to work on a remembrance service after the holiday break. College President Lori Patton writing, We know that this news will be difficult for those who knew Aria, those with experiences of domestic violence, those grieving other losses, and for our whole community especially as most of us are apart from our Middlebury campus community during winter break. Meanwhile, about 42,000 Vermonters are affected by domestic violence and abuse each year. The Vermont Network Against Domestic and Sexual Violence can connect you to support with links on its website to resources in each county. That statewide nonprofit and its member organization in Addison County both say it's vital to show empathy to friends and family who may be in unsafe situations. Since the survivor is usually being vulnerable by discussing their situation in the first place, they also say it's key to not pass judgment as the person sharing their story knows their situation best. Experts say one way someone can avoid having things escalate is by not having firearms in their home as that is a main contributor used in most domestic violence cases. When there's somebody who's using violence in an intimate partner relationship, the presence of that firearm really increases the risk for serious harm uh, or death. The most important thing that a person can do to support somebody is to say to them, I'm, I'm worried um, or I'm concerned and I love you and, and this is what I'm seeing. I just want you to know I'm here. If you or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence or the threat of domestic violence, there is help available. You can contact the National Domestic Violence Hotline at the number you see on your screen. Again, God bless the family and friends. And remember, ladies, this is 2024. If you don't do anything else, get trained and get armed. Get trained and armed. Damn. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.